how we can use the customizer to add multiple animations and how we can also copy and paste animation presets from one layer to the other. So let's go to the customizer. As you can see, it gives us this message in here, select a layer, we can select the layer. And if we go to customizer in here, we can see that we don't have any animation presets in here. We can click on add animation to start adding our animations. So in this case, I'm going to start off with adding a scale linear in and out animation. I'm going to add them both in here. And let's zoom out in here. And as you can see, we have two animations added to our effect controls panel in here. And if I go back to the customizer, we can see those edit right over here as well. Perfect. Now let's add another in animation and let's now add a position animation. So let's add a position top animation and I'm also going to add a position out animation in here. So let's add those both at once. And if I go now to customizer, I can see that in each of these, so in, in animation presets and in out animation presets, we have two animations. And if I try preview this, we can see that it is scaling up while also moving down. Perfect. And the same way out, it is scaling down while moving up. Perfect. So in the middle, we don't have anything. So let's add an animation preset to the middle. You can go ahead and select a middle animation from here. And let's add a rotate preset in here, a linear one. I'm going to apply that. And you can go ahead as well and add another preset. So let's add this loop scale oscillate preset. Click on add in here. And if we now preview this, we can see that we have all of that going on. And we also have these two presets in the middle that are working together in here. So it is scaling up and, and down while rotating. Very, very nice. So after this is done, now I can go to my customizer. Let's select the layer, go to customizer. And I can also find all the presets right over here. So in animation presets, middle animation presets and out animation presets. I have two different animations in each of them. And what is nice is that I also have a preview of each of these animations so that I can see what I have added. If at any time you would like to select and tweak the features of any of these animations, simply hit, hit select and it will automatically highlight your animation preset inside of the effect controllers panel. It will also open up this dialog window where you can even customize the features from here. I prefer to customize them in here in this case, so I'm going to go to back to preview from here. Now, with that said, we can see how we can copy and paste different animation presets. So let's now unhide my other layers. And as you can see, we have this one which have the animation preset, but these don't have any animations on them. So what we can do is go to shape one in here, go to the customizer and I can choose to copy just one individual preset. So you can pick any of these and simply copy that. So if I copy this one, click copy, then go to shape two, wait for that to update. If for any reason this does not update in here, simply go to customizer and it should update for you. And now I can simply hit paste. And there it is. I have that animation, the in animation edit, and it will automatically add as well the the marker for you perfect so uh, i also have the option if i go to shape three in here let's go back to shape one first i also have the option to copy a whole group of presets so in this case i have the in animation presets we can copy them all together go to shape three and from here we can paste the presets wonderful so now as you can see this one have both the in presets added at once. Perfect. Finally, if I go to once again shape one, go to the customizer, I can also choose to copy all. So if I copy all the presets, then go to shape four and paste. We can see now that 
on this specific layer, we have exactly the same presets that we had on shape one, since we have copied all the presets in here. Perfect, so that's how you can use the customizer to view the presets, see what you have, and also copy and paste the presets. Now, finally, we have also the option to delete presets. So let's just see shape one in here. To delete the presets, it's very simple. You can either choose to delete all. You can also choose to delete a single group in here or individual presets. So in this case, I can delete an individual preset like that. As you can see, we still have the other in preset in here and all the other presets available in here. Everything still works perfectly. We can choose now to delete, for instance, a whole group. So if we go to a group, for instance, middle animation presets and hit the delete next to it, that will remove a whole group, as you can see. And as you can see now, we have the middle that have been removed. And we can also remove all the presets at once. So if we go to delete all, we can simply hit delete all. And as you can see now, the shape doesn't have any presets on it. Perfect. So that's how you can use the copy and paste features inside of the customizer and also the delete features inside of the customizer.